Welcome to the course on nuclear medicine imaging. In this course, we will explore the fascinating field of nuclear medicine, which utilizes radioactive substances to diagnose and treat diseases. Nuclear medicine imaging techniques provide valuable insights into the functioning and structure of organs and tissues within the body. Now, let's delve into the various topics that will be covered throughout this course. Nuclear medicine imaging is based on the principle of administering radiopharmaceuticals, which are radioactive substances that emit gamma rays, into the body. These radiopharmaceuticals selectively accumulate in specific organs or tissues, allowing their activity to be measured using specialized detectors. The emitted gamma rays are then converted into images that provide valuable information about the physiology and pathology of the targeted area. Accurate detection of gamma rays is vital in nuclear medicine imaging. Gamma ray detectors, such as scintillation crystals or semiconductor detectors, are used to capture the gamma ray photons. These detectors convert the gamma photons into electrical signals, which can be further processed to create images. Advanced imaging instruments, such as gamma cameras and positron emission tomography PET, scanners, are employed to capture and analyze gamma ray emissions from radiopharmaceuticals. Radiopharmaceuticals contain specific radionuclides that decay over time. Understanding the process of radioactive decay is essential in nuclear medicine as it governs the physical properties and imaging characteristics of radiopharmaceuticals. Radionuclides can be produced through various methods, such as nuclear reactors or particle accelerators, ensuring a reliable supply for medical applications. Radiopharmaceuticals play a crucial role in nuclear medicine imaging. They are carefully designed to target specific organs or tissues of interest. Depending on the clinical indication, various radiopharmaceuticals are used, such as technetium 99 meters, TC 99 meters, for imaging different body systems, fluorodeoxyglucose, FDG, for oncological applications, and iodine-131, I-131, for thyroid disorders. Different radiopharmaceuticals have unique mechanisms of uptake and clearance, allowing for the visualization of specific physiological processes or disease states. Collimators are essential components of single photon emission computed tomography, SPECT, imaging. These devices help to focus and direct gamma-ray photons towards the detectors while minimizing interference from scattered photons. Collimators can be of various types, such as parallel hole collimators, pinhole collimators, or multi-pinhole collimators, each with distinct applications and imaging characteristics. Photon attenuation and scatter are physical phenomena that can affect the quality and accuracy of SPECT images. Attenuation occurs when gamma rays encounter various tissues, leading to their absorption or scattering. Correction techniques, such as attenuation correction methods and scatter correction algorithms, are employed to minimize these effects and generate reliable images, aiding in accurate diagnosis and disease management. Data acquisition is a crucial step in nuclear medicine imaging. The detectors capture the gamma ray emissions, and the acquired data are processed to generate images. Image reconstruction techniques, such as filtered back projection, iterative reconstruction, or statistical reconstruction methods like maximum likelihood expectation maximization, MLEM, are applied to transform the acquired data into meaningful images, enhancing diagnostic capabilities. Hybrid imaging combines SPECT with computed tomography, CT, to provide anatomical and functional information simultaneously. The integration of SPECT and CT enhances diagnostic accuracy by precisely localizing pathological findings within the context of anatomical structures. It enables detailed assessment of disease extent, aiding clinicians in treatment planning and monitoring. Quantitative analysis in SPECT imaging involves the accurate measurement of radiopharmaceutical distribution within the body. This information is crucial for the assessment of disease severity, response to therapy, and follow-up evaluations. Quantitative SPECT imaging techniques, such as absolute quantification and relative quantification, provide valuable insights into disease progression and treatment effectiveness. Dynamic SPECT imaging captures the temporal changes of radiopharmaceutical distribution within the body. It enables the evaluation of physiological processes, such as blood perfusion, tracer uptake kinetics, and receptor binding. Dynamic SPECT imaging can provide valuable information for assessing organ function and detecting subtle abnormalities. Cardiac SPECT imaging is a specialized application of nuclear medicine that focuses on the evaluation of cardiac function and blood flow. It plays a pivotal role in diagnosing and managing various cardiovascular conditions, such as coronary artery disease, myocardial infarction, and myocardial viability assessment. Cardiac SPECT imaging provides valuable information about myocardial perfusion and function, aiding in treatment planning and patient management. Brain SPECT imaging is widely used in the assessment of various neurological disorders. It helps in the diagnosis and management of conditions such as epilepsy, dementia, 
brain tumors, and movement disorders. BrainSpec provides valuable information about regional cerebral blood flow, oxygen metabolism, and neurotransmitter systems, enhancing the understanding of brain function and pathology. In conclusion, nuclear medicine imaging techniques offer unique and valuable insights into the structure and function of organs and tissues within the body. From the basic principles to advanced applications, this course will provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the field. So, get ready to explore the fascinating world of nuclear medicine.